everybody, I'm El Worfi, and today we're going to be making a video talking about this idea of um, being a part of something or being in a group. This idea that we're all, you know, trying to find uh, something that we can all kind of relate to or be together in and be a part of. Because I wanted to uh, kind of talk about this idea of building a community in YouTube. Right? I've already made videos about community. Yes, it's good to have a community. We, I think we all kind of agree on that. Building a community is great. It's wonderful, but um, I wanted, uh, I don't know, I always felt that like there's something special about being like a member of a YouTuber channel or being a part of something bigger than yourself, and that's why I, I got into the entertainment industry of YouTube uh, on, in that side of it, because I really like this idea of thinking, you know, even though I'm just one person making content about all kinds of different things, I'm still able to make things that people enjoy that is ultimately uh, something that everybody else is really having a good time with, and that... Hopefully all of you guys are entertained by just, you know, simple the videos that I am making, the ideas that I'm coming up with. Uh, of course, I have plenty of ideas, plenty of video topics to talk about. Um, but I think that, like, when you're by yourself and you're just sitting in your room making your videos, you kind of feel alone, and there's a sense of loneliness. And I've, I've made a video about making videos alone before, but I think that's something that I missed out on or that I really didn't touch on enough is this idea that it would really be good in my opinion if you're starting out if you're smaller to make collaboration videos i feel like collaboration videos are really a key in making yourself feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself because i think everybody deep down would really like to be part of something bigger like i never really got to be in sports teams or do sport activities that would allow me to kind of get the sense of teamwork or cooperation that a lot of my other peers did. And so when I, I got into YouTube, I realized, wow, this is something I can do. I'm on my own. Uh, I'm working at my own pace. I'm able to make content that I want to make about things that I care about. But I do kind of miss out on the fact that I'm doing everything by myself. Like these videos that I'm recording, it's by myself in a room, you know, and it's not really as if I have any control over what's talked about or what's being said or anything like that, um, beyond my own opinions, right, so I don't have anyone to bounce off of, I don't have anyone to talk to, it's kind of, you know, I'll admit, it's a little lonely, but... I think that uh, you can kind of find solace or at least consolation in the fact that you have a comment section on YouTube, you have community tabs, you have these different tools that will allow you to be able to still communicate with your audience so that way even though, you know, you're sitting... Sorry, you're sitting here talking to yourself about uh, whatever you're talking about or playing games or, you know, doing an activity, whatever you're doing, you're not really alone. And I would like to think that as you make videos and as you progress, no matter at what point you are, that um, you'll find that going through the process of making videos, you'll realize that you are part of something bigger and you are part of something bigger than yourself because whatever like topic or brand or style of content you're making, you can relate yourself to other people who make the same kind of content. Like I wanted to make these videos mostly about kind of how to be good at YouTube or how to improve in YouTube and stuff that I've learned after doing YouTube since 2009, you know, starting out. It just so I can spread my knowledge stuff, but even if I'm not successful, at least maybe someone else could use these ideas and understand these concepts so that way they could be successful. That way at least they would have a shot at doing something bigger than themselves because, look, I'd like to be bigger than myself, but, I mean, realistically, you know, we're just one... We're all just ourselves and trying to, like, stave off that or try to be something other than that I think is just disingenuous and a little bit uh, foolhardy to try and go after. So that's why I think it's so great that we're able to still kind of be a part of a community of YouTubers, you know, making different content about different things. Uh, but, you you know, you can do all this stuff, but then still be able to be an individual as well. Because, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I found recently, the more and more of these videos that I make, the more I realize I really, not only am I talking to myself, but I'm talking to myself without necessarily any way to get direct feedback outside of the comment section or community tab. So that's why I've been turning to Reddit a lot, looking at different posts, trying to see what people have been kind of concerned about and kind of trying to answer those questions in video format, just because I think it's uh, more beneficial to be able to hear someone kind of explain things uh, in a respectful way that you guys are able to understand, you know, and, and be able to talk to you guys like people instead of leaving a weird kind of vague uh, message on an internet form. And uh, I don't know. 
I've always liked the idea also of that after I make something, after I've finished it and I've published it, it can get shared around and people can enjoy it. And that's another way that your content can kind of be more than what you initially thought it would be because you can expand it to be beyond, again, itself because you can ultimately make sure that it's a part of something much larger than uh, anything your own community could see. Like you, you have a video go viral, right? And if that video happens to go viral, you know, you're, you know, great, you know, good job. That's really lucky. Um, and then think about all these people who are able to see your video and then you become kind of lifted or pushed into this a bigger group right because there's different levels of groups i think on youtube where there's a small youtube community which you know i'm a part of which most people i think watching these videos right now are a part of which is great it's fantastic and then i noticed that as people tend to rise or go up in youtube popularity you know growth that the their peers kind of change so I don't know. I guess I, what I'm trying to say is that I hope that as the channel grows and as we expand the community, that we're still able to hang on to the roots of like, hey, we're talking to small channels, we're hanging out, helping out small channels, giving advice, being a positive outlet and a positive place for people to share ideas and communicate and still feel like, you know, no matter how big or small we get, you know, individually on this channel, that we're at least helping others, you know, being supportive and overall making the entire group experience of, again, watching these videos here on this channel turn into something that we can all be really proud of and ultimately see uh, happiness in, uh, that we would enjoy uh, being able to rewatch the videos, learn from them, and just be a positive influence, uh, I think, on YouTube. And uh, it's really hard to be a positive influence on YouTube sometimes because there's all kinds of negative feedback, criticism, people trying to kind of go after you for things that probably aren't very important in the real world. Uh, and I don't want you people to lose sight of that or to lose confidence and just get out there, you know, and have fun, you know, with it. And it, like, it, like I like to say, if you're in the cooking club, you know, cooking video niche, you know, go out and talk to other people who make cooking videos. You know, if you like, you know, my style of content, you know, where you talk about YouTube and the state of YouTube and ideas for smaller creators, ways to help out, you know, talk to, I, you know, I try my best to, to go and do my own research and talk to other people in this similar field um, as myself. So I, I hope that uh, with this video, um, it kind of gets you, you know, kind of call to action part of the video be like hey you know get out there subscribe to some brand new channels check stuff out go find a community that's right for you and i think that'll help improve your own content as well because you'll be more well-rounded you'll have more knowledge of different topics and ideas and i think it'll ultimately make your channel stronger so that way you can grow even better so anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I've had a ton of fun making these videos. Lots more to come. Lots of cool video topics and ideas. And as always, guys, I'm El Murphy, and I will definitely be seeing you guys next time. Take care, everyone.